going to be talking about the uh, Canadian Veterans Memorial. When I was approached to do this piece, I really wanted to show the huge richness of the military heritage in Canada. I wanted a sculpture that would celebrate the veterans and also suggest how many veterans there are out there in Canada today. So this is basically the only sculpture in Canada that covers every single war Canada ever fought in, from the War of 1812 all the way up to the current situation in Afghanistan. I wanted to honor the veterans. I also wanted to show the spirit. So the, basically at the beginning of the, of the sculpture, you have a veteran in a wheelchair and he's presenting a poppy to the viewer. And it's almost as if it's a challenge. He's holding it to the viewer, challenging people to remember. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance. So it's almost the focal point. And from this veteran in a wheelchair, he's an aged veteran, I created him so he's resting his hand on his shoulder as if he feels something, if he feels a spirit. And, and then what I sculpted behind him is the spirit, the, the veterans from all the different wars that Canada ever fought in. And I think there's around 150 different figures within this piece. And what I wanted to almost uh, uh, suggest here is that from history or, or from, uh, from heaven, you have all the veterans coming back to present the veteran to people today. And so it's, it's, it's a really interesting concept. And you can see the piece soars up in the sky. And it was important that the piece is on a, uh, a base and uh, that this 24-foot sculpture is uh, up high. So when you look at it, you have an aerial perspective. So it's almost like the viewer can look at the sculpture and almost envision or imagine all these figures coming down from the sky to Earth today here. I wanted all of the figures within this work to be as realistic as possible. I didn't just want them to be generic faces. I wanted character personality within it. Most of, uh, of, of the soldiers in World War I and II were gaunt and, and smaller, so I th that actually gave me the idea to put a call out in the community for actual photographs of real veterans, real people that fought in the wars. So I went to the media and I suggested that I'm looking for actual photographs, old sketches of any of the people in this region that had relatives that fought in any of the wars. And it was just unbelievable, the response. I had hundreds and hundreds of people send me pictures. Charcoal sketches from the Boer War soldiers, World War I soldiers, Air Force, Navy. I had a, a collage of different faces to, to work with. So basically, around this 23-foot clay sculpture, I would put the... Uh, the photos and I'd almost have a grid and whenever I'd work on one face I would pull a photograph up and start carving that exact likeness into that face and, and it was a haunting experience working from these these figures because now it, it was even more symbolic now I was actually carving real features of people that actually fought in the wars and I remember uh, some of the photographs they would actually have little captions written underneath and I remember the the one I was I was working late one night, and uh, I knew that he died in the trenches in World War One. So I'm carving this the expressions on these people. It was just a an amazing experience. I, I became very connected with trying to give the best recognition and dignity to these people as best as I possibly could. So when the piece was finally done, it was cast in bronze and it was then installed right in a place where you have so many uh, university students, so many uh, Canadians that are basically the same age as the people that fought. So it was an honor to do the piece. It was an amazing experience. Uh, within the uh, 23 feet of the piece, I feel I put as much possible emotion, as many figures as I possibly could within this work. And I think it's very, very positive. And it's a tribute that I think will make people remember how many people actually fought in the wars and, and the great sacrifices that the Canadians actually endured for our uh, country today.